Hello, welcome back to Triple Seven. In today's video, I'm doing a video on Windows 8.1, some of the new features that are now available. So I have a rotation. Normally, I do Android and Windows videos, but I'm doing another Windows video because Windows 8.1 just came out, and I wanted to do some videos on it. But I promise my next video will be back to Android, and I have an actual really sick Android video coming out for my next one. If you like the wallpaper, um, it was made by a graphics designer named Tupo Arts. Um, I'll have his link below. You can check him out. He just started, but he has um, some awesome speed arts and actually a graphics pack available now. So you can check that out and you can watch the speed art of this download link. Or sorry, this wallpaper. And if you are interested in the wallpaper and you would like it for yourself, um, maybe I will put a link below and you can download it for yourself. So also, he might be making me a new logo because I'm. My, um, because my current logo does have you know other logos mixed into it, and technically you're not supposed to have um, other logos as your own logo because of copyright. So I might be switching to my own unique original logo again by Topo Arts. So you go ahead and check them out in the link below. Anyways, guys, today's video um, 8.1 Windows. So let's get started. So for you desktop users out there, the biggest probably most controversial comeback to Windows 8.1 is the start button now the start button only brings you back to the start menu so it works the same even though I'm not the biggest fan of the start menu or the new one sorry I still like the add-on of the start button it's much easier to click than the old um, card thing that came out it's much easier to click this button right here which brings you back to this Another new options are that are available is when you right click on the start button you have this new menu and in the menu you now have the option to go shut down and shut down the computer. So this is a quicker way of shutting down the computer than the traditional way of going to the um, right hand side to the hot corner and doing that way. Um, this is much easier to do and I find it's a big improvement on using less clicks. Before I had the option I had my own um, custom start menu which a lot of people are downloading nowadays like start menu 8 and all these other ones um, so this is an, a nice add-on to quickly shut down the computer for people who prefer the desktop one was 8 some more options that are now available if you right click on the on the taskbar and go to properties and go to navigation you have some start screen options so you have the option to skip the start menu and go straight to the desktop so now when we reboot the computer, it goes straight to this menu here, the, your, your desktop, instead of going to the Metro UI. You also have the option to show my desktop background on Start, which basically means this background right here will be my Start menu. You also have the option to show apps view automatically when I start. So this basically means is when you click the Start menu, I'll show you right now, it goes straight to your apps. So now you can avoid that whole uh, metro and do it straight to your apps, which is kind of useful because now you click on it and you get your apps right away instead of having to go to that start menu. So these small improvements are going to help out the desktop users a lot who don't like the start menu and just skip straight to the desktop and have the easy access straight to their apps. So the next thing I'm talking about is our start menu. So if we Go up to our start menu. Um, some of the biggest things you're going to see right away is the new tile sizes. So we have this extra large tile size right here. And if I resize, or these ones are here actually, these are the smallest ones. So now we have different sizes. So we have our um, medium size that we had before, our large, our extra large, and then our extra small. Our extra small ones are just like the medium size ones. They don't, they're not live at all. They're just small icons. Our extra large, like the large ones, they're live, but they display more information. So by default, they have the weather app is the largest one to show you the biggest weather. So simply by right-clicking, you have some more options. You can now name the groups much easier and simply delete them as well. So you can simply rename the groups very easily. And you can simply also drag the groups over if you like that too. So you, the customization options are a bit better in the Windows 8.1. I find the stickiness isn't so bad either. 
Although I'd still like for them to make this a free tile where you can put these you know, nicely here without having to actually follow the grid. So over here we have the charms bar. Now I mentioned this in my last video. When you go to the top of the charms bar, the icons are more near the top and when you go to the bottom, well they're more near the bottom. So they kind of did this so that when you do this your mouse is kind of closer by default to them. Instead of them always being in the middle, they're closer to wherever you put your mouse. So this is a small improvement that actually is pretty good. We have some more start screen customization options. So if we go to our um, settings here for the start screen, we have different things like personalize here. We have more colors. So now we have more background colors, which obviously um, you can't see that much when you're using your own custom background. But um, you can tell up here, now they're a bit different. And we can go to darker colors if you prefer. So the, the better colors, you know, they help out with people who really do not like the color scheme. A lot of people say it's kind of a childish color scheme. I tend to agree. And these can kind of ease the pain. So the next thing I'm talking about is the multitasking. So in my original review of Windows 8, I said that I didn't like the snapping because you can only do an 80-20 look. And if you're not doing a certain um, type of multitasking, then you really aren't going to get the benefits of it. So now they changed it so you can do much, much different. So now you can go 80-20, 60-40, 50-50, that kind of stuff. So I want to show you that right now. So I'll go ahead and I'll open up an app. So I'll go ahead and open up the desktop app. And I'll open up a file browsing app. So just here. And then what I'll do is I'll pull this down and slide it over here. And then over here, I'll open up the calculator. So now you can see um, how easily it is to do this. So what you can do is um, you can simply pull it over. And you can tell we have much different um, orientation gridding size here. So we can go all the way to this small, go smaller and smaller. And we can go like this and pull it completely out of the way. So you can see though that the multitasking has been greatly improved on the, the grid size. Now depending on the size of your computer, monitor size, or resolution, sorry, um, depends how many apps you can go up to. Right now the maximum is four. You can go all the way up to four different grid options. The next category I'll talk about is kind of um, improvements to the Windows Store and built-in apps. So um, by default, some of the Windows apps have been improved. So um, I'll show you them now. So if we go to the system apps here, we have some new apps. We have like health and fitness, so I'll show you that one. This is my first time opening it, so uh, we'll see what we have here. So we have quick access to diet tracker and nutrition calories. So we can um, look up common foods or we can search up a food like a uh, pizza rolls. So pizza rolls has 1.95 grams of fat, 4.31 grams of carbohydrates, and 1.74 of protein. So we can compare our serving sizes. So if you eat two servings of that and it's one cup of it, then you can see how many calories it is. You can see how many, how long it'll take to burn the calories. So you can go for a hundred, almost a hundred minute walk or you can swim for 35 minutes or we can try a cheese pizza. So you can see how that is. You can see that a lot of it's fat. So it looks very nice though. Um, again, I'm not really sure why they added this, but it's kind of a nice looking app. They did a well job designing it. And for some people, I guess it can be pretty useful. So, um, what's it here? So we have health tips. That's a new one too. Um, I believe some other there's other new ones like reading list and reader. So I'm assuming this is kind of a similar to the Google reader. And we have the SkyDrive has been improved as well. But another thing that I like to talk about is the PC settings. They finally added a, a somewhat, I guess you could say, a control panel to Metro. So before, if you wanted to access like uninstalling and stuff like that you'd have to go to your control panel, whereas a lot of the stuff that's in control panel can now be accessed through the Metro. 
And for Microsoft, if they're trying to get people to use this thing, then they should really add almost all the settings to the Metro. So you can go through and play through lock screen settings, obviously all your settings. So for lock screen, you have the option to play a slideshow, which is pretty cool. Um, you can choose a folder, or by default, you can use your picture settings. And what we'll do is basically have a slideshow, and every so long, it will switch the picture. Display, this is another new one, and you can now change the resolution from here. So you can increase it or decrease it. Um, you can also change the landscape, size of the apps, Bluetooth devices, mouse and touchpad, typing if you're on a touchscreen device, app switching, so you can choose in the core navigation, so you can, if you disable these, you can go to the top right hand corner, not there anymore. And then we have a couple simple options like the power and power and sleep. So if you have a um, a laptop, autoplay, which is another new one, and PC info. Obviously, I'm using a, a virtual machine. That's why I have a 32 operating system. But anyway, so I'm not really sure why they didn't add other options like uninstalling software. I really think they should add the whole control panel option to this. They don't. I'm not really sure why not. So another thing they touched up a bit was the Windows searching. So the searching by default is a bit better now. So I'll show you. Uh, when you search, it just kind of, instead of searching up everything, instead of searching up just one area, it searches up everything better. So if I type in images, instead of just opening um, a category, it opens them all at once. So I have different the settings here, and then I have actual Google options, and then I have actual Google images. Sorry, by the way, this is actually Bing, Bing options here, Bing searches. And then I have an actual Google option. So I click on that, it'll go ahead and open up NX 411, which is also new to Windows 8.1. Some of the options are not that new. I don't really use it, so I can't tell you how good it is or not. Um, I'm more of a Google Chrome person, to be honest. So, um, like I said, though, they do that. And then the other option that I, I'd like to introduce is the, I believe it's called Hero Mode. And Hero Mode is kind of a um, celebrity type thing. Whereas if you search a certain person, instead of just giving you a Google search for them, it will actually just give you information about them. So I'll go ahead and try that. So here we go, I typed in Bill Gates. So obviously Bill Gates is the um, founder of Microsoft. And so instead of just giving me a Google search about him, it kind of just gives you information in a nice looking way. So we have some pictures of him currently when he's younger, him talking, we have his name, we have people related to him. So his spouse, Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett. We also have read about so you can if you install the Wikipedia app, you can click that and go straight to Wikipedia app for him. It shows his birthday, where he was born, and he's worth $72.7 billion. Currently the richest man on planet Earth. And if you scroll to the right, you have more options, like certain web pages that are most popular for having him. So we have Wikipedia on him. We have biography.com about him. And other websites, the Gates Notes. And of course, if we like one of them, so you like it, okay, I can click on one of them. It will open up Internet Explorer 11 and bring us straight to that page about them. So those, those are some of the biggest features that are now available on Windows 8.1. Some of them are a bit buggy still because it's obviously still the build, build um, model. But those are some of the biggest features that I thought were now new and available. There are some small ones that are new but those are the main ones. Anyways guys, that's about for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can leave a like below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Anyways guys, happy hacking, and my next video will be making Android completely transparent. So stay tuned for that, and subscribe so you know when it comes out. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day.
This is Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.